Hey everyone, Cody here, and uh, welcome back to you know another kind of painting sort of tutorial where I just kind of ramble and you listen. Yeah, it, first off, I just have to say thank you. I mean, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I probably have like the most monotone voice <laughs> of anyone you've probably ever heard. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. That's me. But hopefully it soothes you and it relaxes you and you can kick back and enjoy the sound of my voice as we sit here and talk about painting and life and whatever happens to come to mind. But anyway, today's painting is a scraped abstract that I'll be using the rubber squeegee to make. Um, today's colors are going to be green. Uh, it's called billiard table or billiard green or something like that. It's, uh, billiard like you know pool and uh, that'll be the green that we're using and then there will be two other colors black or no we're not using black we're using gold and a light gray almost white called cold morning now this is coming off of that other green golden abstract that I did I think I'm gonna post that one first so you'll probably see that one uh, before this one but anyway so here, I'm just trying to cover the the whole page in the green. Um, and I kind of want the marks, but I what I should have done was kind of leave some of it uh, uncovered. And I wasn't smart enough to tape down the painting or weigh down the board so that it didn't move. I just kind of dealt with it like an idiot. And, uh, you know, I'll kind of pay for it afterwards. But... Anyway, um, so first off, I really wanted to just kind of ask you guys how you were doing because, I mean, we're two months in. If you're watching this video about the time it was made, it's, you know, about the mid middle of February 2019. So, you know, still early in the year, and I hope that your year is going, going well for you. I'm sure it's not without its challenges because that's kind of how life is, right? Um, but, you know, I, I just uh, hope the best for you guys. I really do. For me, it hasn't been too bad. I'm already, you know, dealing with stuff on a day-to-day -day basis. But that's just how it goes, right? That's just life. Anyway, I wanted to kind of explain just some of the things I've learned this year. Uh, one, that, well, I didn't learn this, but I wanted to share it with you. Um, the first thing is that if you don't put yourself out there to challenge yourself, you won't grow. Okay. And what do I mean by that? Well, essentially what I mean is that if you don't do the things that will stretch you, you won't grow. And so if you're not forcing yourself to do things that will cause you to grow, you won't. Right, you'll just kind of stay where you are. Um, and so I was really reminded of that this year when I started selling some of these bigger pieces because, for example, making the shipping crate for Saatchi Art, I, I don't know why. I know it's just a simple crate, but and I use too much paint here just as I had the, with all this gold I use. I use way too much gold. I should have scaled back, but, you know, you live and you learn. Anyway, um... So, like, making that crate for Satya Art was something that I, I kind of feared, honestly. Um, I really didn't, like, want to do it uh, before this. And I just, I don't know. Like, I just didn't want to do it because I, I don't know if it's just because of the work or because I'm not, like, super handy. So I didn't want to deal with, you know, the tools and the wood and all that. I, I honestly couldn't say, but... Um, it just seemed intimidating to me to, you know, make that crate. And so that was kind of, uh, you know, having to sell a painting and make the crate. I, you know, when I, when I sold the painting, I was like, all right, you know what? I just need to just kind of deal with it and just get it, just do it and get it done. And, uh, you know, after all is said and done, it's, it wasn't that bad. And I think that a lot of life is kind of like that, right? So we fear, like we don't grow because we're afraid of something. 
Um, we're afraid of the work, and I finally wisened up, right, that that board wasn't working out. But then you'll you'll watch, and you'll see that this wasn't too much better. I should have taped it down, but, yeah, again, I was, I was just kind of just winging it. But anyway, um, you know, it seems like life is like that all the time, right? So we just don't grow because we're afraid to, I don't know, put in the work or the effort or whatever it is. And because of that, you know, we just, we don't grow. And so, you know, I was reminded of that this year when I sold that painting because I had to learn to make the crate. But not just that, um, you know, in like promoting myself as, a, as an artist, you know, I have to put myself out there so that, you know, people know who I am. Because, listen, the marketplace is crowded with so many barriers to entry broken um, in selling anything these days. Like what I mean by that is that literally anyone can pick up anything and sell whatever, right? You probably see ads or videos for people like, oh yeah, you can sell this or that or some other thing. And, and it's, it's really easy actually. Like you can literally start making money today, uh, either with ads or, you know, posting content or whatever it, it, you know, the world has just changed where really anyone can do whatever they want if they put in the effort, but coming back to, you know, challenging yourself and doing the things that, you know, are going to make you grow. I had to force myself to do a lot of things, kind of like these videos, right? So if you look at how many videos I put out last year, I think I've already put out, I don't know if I put out as many videos as I put out last year, but by the time the year is over, I'll have put out, you know, a lot more videos than I did last year, just because I'm actually pushing myself to, to do it, to you know, not just promote my stuff, but just to get the content out there. And if, if even one person finds the content like entertaining or helpful in some way, then it'll have been worth it. Right. And so honestly, that's all that, that's like my biggest goal this year is to really just kind of double down on the content and get it out into the world so that, you know, it can make a difference for, for someone, even if it's not really me, um, it's going to grow me as a person and as an artist just because I'll be forcing myself to kind of go out of my comfort zone. But even this this painting or just painting in general is kind of a, a good example of this because I didn't want to paint on camera because I was afraid of like the rejection or the or people saying like, wow, I could do that, right? And it's, I mean, it, to an extent it's true, you know, really anyone could do this, but I found that like, it doesn't really matter because if you were going to do it, you would find a way to do it anyway. Right. And if you weren't going to do it, then this wouldn't matter to you because you were going to find something to buy anyway. Right. You weren't going to make it yourself. So honestly, it, it really comes down to just doing the things that you know, you should be doing. And just accepting that one, they're probably not going to be perfect, especially as perfect as you'd want them to be. But two, just doing things to get the the hang of it and getting over that first huddle. So that crate that I made, man, that thing was ugly. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, <laughs> like the boards weren't necessarily straight and I used like three different types of screws and it was super heavy. I think it was heavier than it needed to be. And you know, the, uh, when I got the boards cut, they weren't even, you know, they weren't straight. So there's just a lot of things wrong with that first crate that I made, but guess what? That, that, that crate shipped and that person got their painting and she actually sent me a message on Facebook. I, I might've said this in another video, but you know, she's like, I really enjoy this painting. Like I, I think it was a worthy investment. And I, and I thought that that was such amazing, like compliment, right? But it, it really just, getting that compliment from her validated everything that I had done. You know what I mean? So like getting that compliment from her, um, saying, Hey, like this is everything I wanted. Um, and I, and I think it's beautiful. It made it worth it, right? It made going through that, that trouble worth it because of my fear. I was going to allow that, that to stop me from, you know, from making, 
pieces that would have sold like that. And yet, because I didn't, because I went ahead and did it anyway, I didn't let the fear stop me. It allowed me to make a, you know, a, a, a decent painting that someone actually really loved. And that's all that matters, right? And it's like these videos, you know, I get people that message me and say, hey, you know, this, you know, that, what a great, you know, tip or, you know, this really helped me a lot. Just getting even one of those is kind of validation that this was worth it, right? So if it, if it makes a difference to one person, then it's worth it. So you have to think of it that way, that what you're doing doesn't exist in a vacuum. You know, it, it's going to matter to somebody. Um, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect or it's not that quote unquote great or, you know, I think that I'm probably the most boring person you could ever listen to, but, uh, you know what? I don't really care anymore because if the video helps you or gives you ideas or something, then it was worth it. So that's really all I wanted to say. And again, I, I really just hope that, you know, your year is going well for you. And I, I really just, you know, I want the best for everyone that's watching this. So I apologize that the lighting was really bad in my garage, so you won't really see it very well. But anyway, uh, that's it for me, guys. I really hope that you guys have a good rest of your day and uh, you take care. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.